My name is Sheila Kumar from the Stanford University School of Medicine Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology. I will be discussing our article entitled Optical Biopsy of Sessile Serrated Adenomas. Do these lesions resemble hyperplastic polyps under narrow band imaging? This study and its analysis were performed at Stanford University and at Huron Gastroenterology in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Sessile serrated adenomas, or SSAs, may lead to colorectal cancer. Optical biopsy of polyps using imaging technologies like narrowband imaging, or NBI, have been used in resect and discard or diagnose and decide strategies. In these strategies, the decision whether or not to resect a diminutive polyp is based on the polyp's endoscopic characteristics. These strategies could improve patient care and reduce costs. Because SSAs are serrated lesions like hyperplastic polyps or HPs, SSAs might resemble HPs under NBI. This could lead to incorrect labeling of SSAs as innocuous, which may adversely affect recommendations on surveillance or resection. Given this possibility, our goal was to investigate the question, do sessile serrated adenomas resemble hyperplastic polyps or adenomas under narrow band imaging? We explored the features of SSAs under NBI that were observed by community gastroenterologists in our recent prospective evaluation of real-time colorectal polyp optical biopsy with NBI. We looked specifically at the NICE features of SSAs. The NICE classification, or narrow band imaging international colorectal endoscopic classification, stratifies colorectal polyps as either type 1, which are usually adenomas, or type 2, which are usually hyperplastic. This stratification is based on NBI features of color, vessels, and surface pattern. In this retrospective analysis of data collected in our recent prospective study of 14 gastroenterologists from a single specialty practice in Ann Arbor, Michigan, we examined the nice features of SSAs compared to those of hyperplastic polyps and adenomas. In our analysis, SSAs had a profile of NBI features of hyperplastic polyps that was intermediate to those profiles seen in hyperplastic polyps and adenomas. Similarly, SSAs had a profile of NBI features of adenomas that was intermediate to those profiles seen in adenomas and hyperplastic polyps. SSAs were significantly less likely, and adenomas even less likely, to have all three nice features of hyperplastic polyps. Similarly, SSAs were significantly less likely and hyperplastic polyps even less likely to have all three nice features of adenomas. When looking specifically at SSAs that met the definition of high confidence, meaning that they had at least one feature of hyperplastic polyp or adenoma and no features of the other, 31% met the definition of high confidence hyperplastic polyps, 51% met the definition of high confidence adenomas, and 18% met the definition of low confidence. Thus, in contrast with our hypothesis, community gastroenterologists observed a profile of nice features among sessile serrated adenomas that was intermediate to those profiles observed for hyperplastic polyps and adenomas. In our study, approximately one-third of sessile serrated adenomas met the definition of high-confidence hyperplastic polyps based on their NICE features. There are certain limitations to our study. Each polyp had only one histopathological interpretation in the context of routine practice and did not undergo multi-pathologist review. In addition, the endoscopists used in the study, while expert endoscopists, were not NBI experts. Anecdotally, among NBI experts, SSAs do resemble hyperplastic polyps but this will need to be further confirmed. The use of other NBI features that are not used in the current NICE classification, such as indistinct borders, cloud-like surface, and irregular shape, as recently suggested in an article by 
Hayeswinkle et al., published in Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, may be necessary for the accurate identification of SSAs. Our results must be interpreted with caution given the limitations that I just discussed and should be considered hypothesis generating. Further prospective studies with NBI experts and research protocols for histopathology assessment are needed to confirm or refute our results.